Hi, I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This is a Krakauer piano, um, not all that old. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the year is, but I would guess um, probably 1990s, maybe early 2000s, somewhere in there. Not, not very old piano. Um, from a cosmetic standpoint, this piano is in perfect condition. It even has the original matching bench. You can see the, the legs of the, the bench here match um, the legs of, of this of the piano, which is not common, by the way. Lots of uh, most most pianos, frankly, um, the bench will only last 20, 30, 40 years, if that. So uh, um, to have the, the bench and it's in perfect condition, it's also um, cosmetically uh, perfect. Uh, that's that's very uncommon. Keys are in perfect condition. The the pedals and the, and the metal hardware are all beautiful and shiny and polished up. From, uh, from the standpoint of the, the guts, we've, we've put it through the, the full um, assembly line that we have in the, in the back shop. It's a very, very um, extensive, exhaustive um, checklist that we put these pianos through. So everything from reshaping the hammers, because they, the hammers, after hitting the strings, for, for years, they get they get grooves in them. They get little dents in the in the hammers. So uh, so that's been that's been reshaped. So it's so rather than kind of a flat surface, it's back to just a rounded part of the hammer that's actually coming in contact with the string. Um, full regulation. So leveling the keys, ensuring that the distance that you can depress the key, ensuring that that's all correct. Regulating the pedals. Um, full cleaning. I don't know if I mentioned that also. Um, so everything's immaculately clean on the inside. Uh, other, other parts of the regulation, so like uh, let off, for example, which is an easy one. If I, I would assume that if you're watching this video, um, you're probably looking at uh, looking for a piano. And if, if you're looking elsewhere, um, a good, uh, I guess, test that you can put every piano through is to check the let off. There's about a dozen or so different points that, uh, that, that ought to be done on a, on a piano. And let me teach you real quick to do the let off. And you can be pretty sure that if the let off is correct, not, you can't be totally sure, but there's a better chance that the other dozen or, or more points that I'm talking about in, in regulation, that those have also been done. If the let off is not correct, then you can be fairly confident that nothing else has been. Let's say there's a better chance of that, in fact. Okay, so what you're what you're looking for here's the uh, this is the um, mute rail, by the way. Make it make it quieter. Okay, what you're looking for is that hammer should come to within an eighth of an inch of the string, and then it pulls away on this piano. That that rail gets in the way of this camera shot a little bit. Pull, up, pull that up so you can get a little... Okay, right there is eighth of an inch and it pulls away and that hammer uh, comes back um, to about two-thirds of the way. And here's another one. Eighth of an inch from the string and it pulls away and that key travels just ever so slightly more. So if you go as slowly as you possibly can, this is what I was telling you about, that enables you to check the regulation on your own goes to within an eighth of an inch of the string and pulls away. So that's a that's a fairly easy thing that you can do on your own to check the regulation. And every single one of these is correctly regulated. Um, anyway, and there's there's a lot more to it. Everything's been tightened, lubricated. There's like, like I said a minute ago, this is a very exhaustive um, checklist. I've developed this checklist as a technician over, I've been a technician since 1995, so um, I absolutely know what I'm doing and, uh, and, and I ensure that all of these pianos that, uh, that we have for sale here are up to, a, up to this very high standard.
out. This, this piano plays really, really well, sounds good, you can control it. And try it for yourself. 1497 South State Street is the address in Orem. Or if you're out of state, shipping this piano is a lot more reasonable from a, from a cost standpoint than you might expect for such a big, heavy object. Um, and you can, you can buy this piano with confidence that uh, if, if you do buy it sight unseen, that everything will be as represented on this video, that it will function properly. I warranty it, but, uh, but you, can, you can be certain that, uh, that all of these things are, are correctly represented. Um, you can call me on my cell if you, wanna, if you have any questions about this piano or any of these other. We have a bunch of others, a lot of other pianos. 801-830-0011. Thanks for watching.